Last night on my Twitch stream, we did some good old fashioned stoner science and experimented with some different size bong rips. You see, I got that nice new turp hammer thing that gives me some really nice flower hits, but I wanted to see if it could fill up a few different bong sizes that I have. So I busted out my 12 inch, my 18 inch, and my 30 inch tag beakers, and we got some nice rips off of all three. I think I'm gonna try to do more experiments like this live on Twitch. That way you can see me go through the whole experiment. We might do a little straight tube versus beaker comparison hits tonight and see how well it does. But unfortunately, because YouTube's so weird, I can't really show you the hits here. I can just talk about them. But I did upload a video to that green video website. If you check out my link tree, there's some 420 videos over there. You can see the smoking version and see how the three different bongs hit. But I thought this would be very interesting to do because I mostly use an 18 inch tag beaker. It's like my favorite piece. Even when I was doing a lot of combustion, I used the 18 inch piece. And now that I do a lot of vaping, I still use the same piece because it just, it's familiar. It gives me great hits. The thing chugs. And I feel like even after the experiment, it's like the perfect size. It didn't give me the biggest hits. It's not like the hardest hitting one out of all of them. I think when we talk about vapor the smaller the piece is more likely to give you a bigger hit which is true for dabs it's true for flower vaping shoot it's true for smoke but like you're also getting it so much quicker that it's just hotter it's harsher and while you can generate more vapor you might not be able to inhale as much of it at the temperature that it is because you're also pulling more heat and the heat is the factor on basically how much you can pull or how much you can hit it can essentially get too hot or there might just be too much vapor when i was pulling on the 30 inch bong it took a little bit more time for the vapor to actually get into my lungs it's got a long distance to travel about 30 inches so like a moment after you start the the inhale you don't quite have the vapor yet it might take a second or two with the 18 it does take a little bit to kind of fill through the chamber with the 12 inch there's not much distance to travel it gets right in there I actually did a bonus hit after where I used an even smaller, like a six, seven inch rig. It wasn't the same style beaker or anything like that, but it was a much smaller piece. And yeah, you get the vapor instantly and bro, it's hot. So I do like taking big hits. I do think that the big hits help you get higher, but also the hit has to be enjoyable or it has to have a certain level of comfort, right? If there's too much heat, if you're too uncomfortable with the hit, you might not be able to do like a huge one. And you might be like super likely to cough because you just really harsh your throat so while i kind of knew that going into it i was probably gonna get the biggest hits off of the 12 inch it was nice to see it is nice to get that visual comparison to see well how much bigger is it because i was doing like the same type of hit i tried to recreate the same hit on each bowl i was packing the same size i have a little metal scoop here for flour and i was just doing like two measured scoops of this into the bowl i was using the same like hitting technique i was doing one big pull take the turp hammer off stir it, put it back on, and then do two more pulls. I was approaching it the same. The only thing that was different was really the piece, the size of the piece. And also, I do have to mention, I, I wasn't using identical downstems. The downstem can play a factor. It can have some effect on the airflow. But the smaller piece that I was using had a pretty restricted airflow on the downstem. The 18 inch piece that I was using had a pretty restricted airflow on the downstem. And the 30 was probably the least restricted, but I was surprised at how big the hits I got on that one were. Like I know the 30 has like a little bit of distance where the vapor has to travel, but I was still getting like big exhales. I wasn't doing any like fill it, exhale, and then clear it. I was just pulling straight through and off of the first hit, starting with an empty piece. You know, I was surprised at how much vapor came out. But if you want to see the hits side by side, go to linktree slash coupons. I'll put the link in the description there's also a puffco giveaway in the link tree so check it out if you're trying to win the new puffco peak pro this thing is dope and tune into the twitch tonight at 9 p.m eastern i think we're gonna do straight tube versus beaker which one do you think hits harder either way link your amazon prime give me that jeff bezos weed money and if you want to hear more about the turp hammer that i used to hit my bongs last night check out this video right here this thing is sick have a lit day my dudes